Samsung is all set to roll out its next big update. Android 16-based One UI 8, it's bringing along a smart new feature that can make trading in your old phone faster, safer, and way more convenient. Tired of wasting time during phone trade-ins? With the current trade-in process, technicians usually have to go through the entire setup just to test the phone, which can be a slow, frustrating experience. But One UI 8 introduces something called trade-in mode, and it's built specifically to solve that problem. With trade-in mode enabled, technicians can skip the setup completely and jump straight to checking the device. That means you'll get your store credit or refund much faster without all the unnecessary waiting. Worried about your personal data falling into the wrong hands? Samsung thought of that too. Trade-in mode includes a built-in security feature. Once it's turned on, your phone will automatically perform a factory reset the next time it restarts. This ensures that all your personal data is completely erased, keeping your privacy protected. Planning to upgrade soon? This feature is made for you. Even though trade-in mode won't affect your daily phone usage, it's the kind of thoughtful update that makes a real difference when you're ready to switch devices. No more long wait times, no more stress over data wipes, just a simple, secure, and speedy trade-in experience. There's a powerful new security feature in Android 16 that we'll hopefully see in Samsung's One UI 8 Update 2. From shady apps to weak connections, your phone faces all kinds of threats. Luckily, Android has built-in security tools to help protect your device and data, and with Android 16, Google is taking that protection to the next level with Advanced Protection Mode. Android 16 is now rolling out to supported devices, and along with it comes Advanced Protection Mode. To check it, go to Android 16 Settings Greater Than Security and Privacy. You'll see a card saying Advanced Protection is available for your device. It's designed to block online threats, harmful apps, unsafe connections, and other risks. If you want to see the card, scroll down to Advanced Protection under Other Settings. On that page, you'll find a device protection toggle. There's also a link to enable a full advanced protection program in your Google account. Here's what you get with Android 16 QPR 1 on Pixel phones. Device theft. Protects your phone if it's lost, stolen, or seized. Inactivity reboot. Restart your phone if it stays locked for three days. Apps. Shields you from unsafe apps and memory bugs. Google Play Protect. Scans apps for malware and other threats. Unknown apps. Blocks apps from outside sources. Memory tagging. Stops memory-based attacks in certain apps. Networks. Avoids weak or unsafe connections. 2G blocking on some devices. Prevents use of old, insecure networks. Web protection. Keeps you away from dangerous websites. Safe browsing. Blocks harmful pages automatically. Chrome alerts. Warns about sites that are HTTPS. JavaScript restrictions. Disables risky features on some sites. Phone app helps spot scam calls. Caller ID and spam alerts shows who's calling and flags spam. Auto call screen blocks sketchy calls before they reach you. If the option isn't showing up yet, try restarting your phone running Android 16. Do you want this feature in One UI 8? Comment below. That's it for today. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. As always, see you in the next video. Peace out.